Welcome friends to another video. Welcome to a list of fragrances that I consider could be easily worn in an office environment. These are fragrances that I uh, worn for uh, many years. These are fragrances that I have in my collection. These are fragrances that I actually consider to be really great for offices, but also for some different types of scenarios. Also, they are very flexible. They are very versatile. So not only for, let's say, office environment let's start with the first one and the first one comes from the house of cartier and this is cartier law declaration law a very beautiful grapefruit fragrance it has a very very nice grapefruit note inside it's very refreshing it's very clean it's very summery if you want and it simply um, gives a feeling of cleansiness and uh, good taste. Therefore, this is the first fragrance from this list, Cartier Declaration Law. The second one comes from the house of Anayake, and this is called Undo, which means movement in Japanese. This is a lavender-based fragrance, very clean, very fresh, very elegant, very good for office environments. So if you don't know this house or their fragrances, I highly recommend it. This one in particular, which is simply amazing. One of the most beautiful lavender notes I ever sniffed in my life. The next one comes from the house of Lalique. And this one is a classic. It's Lalique Puron, the lion head, which is simply amazing. This is uh, leaning a bit more on the mature side of things, but it's very, very sophisticated. It's very elegant. It's a very masculine at the same type and it works flawlessly when you are dressed up uh, in a suit with a tie and uh, you are in an office environment. And not only. Really great release from the House of Lalique. I do consider this one to be the most elegant fragrance from what Lalique has to offer in terms of fragrances. Put on the lion head. Next one up comes from the House of Guerlain. This is one of my favorites. And this is, if you want the epiphany of elegance, mainly elegance, a very subtle yet uh, very beautiful fragrance for men, L'Instant de Guerlain. Simply amazing composition, very good performing. The projection is moderate, but uh, you don't need to have or to wear fragrances in the office that uh, project very strong. You don't need to have, uh, let's say, uh, very concentrated fragrances, dark fragrances, because not everyone likes and wants to feel fragrances when they are at work. Therefore, L'Instan de Guerlain is an excellent recommendation if you are looking for something very elegant, very subtle, but at the same time, very refined. Highly appreciate and highly recommend this fragrance. From the House of Banana Republic, from the Icon Collection, comes 90 Pure White. This smells like dry sheets in the sun. Everything that I see in front of my eyes when I smell this fragrance is the white color. White shirt, white sheets, white uh, everything. This is the best word to describe this fragrance. Very clean, very energizing, very subtle. It simply works flawlessly in an office environment. Next one up on this list comes from the house of John Varvatos, and this is Artisan Pure. Really nice citrus based fragrance. One of the best that you can buy on the market. Unfortunately, the only problem for me is that uh, this fragrance doesn't uh, project monstrous. I would have preferred it to be a monster type of fragrance. Unfortunately, it isn't. It does perform really great, at least on my skin. But because it smells so great and I can have enough out of this bottle, I would have preferred it to be even more powerful. Still, for what it is, it does a great job. It's a compliment getter. And as I said, it's one of the best citrus based fragrances that you can buy, especially for the warmer seasons. Wow, simply amazing. Very clean, very elegant, very bright. Amazing fragrance. Next one up from the house of Aqua di Parma, of course, Fico di Amalfi. If you uh, love Fig Note, uh, then you definitely must have 
Fico de Amalfi in your collection. This is one of the best fig, brace, uh, fig based fragrances on the market. Therefore, very good performance. Also, it smells really amazing. And it is very good even for an office environment. It's clean, it's fruity, it's energizing, it's bright. It's everything that you need from a fig based fragrance. Fico de Amalfi from the house of Aqua di Parma. Next one up, still from Aqua di Parma, but this time around from the Colonia lineup, and this is Colonia Intensa. Again, a ton of citruses, but this time around with some leather inside, which uh, makes it very elegant, very masculine, very beautiful smelling fragrance. This is a fragrance for a gentleman. This is a fragrance that uh, works miracles in an office environment. Very good performance also on this one, although this is only Eau de Cologne. Next one up from the house of uh, Bulgari, Bulgari Man Black Cologne. If you love Neroli, you're gonna love Bulgari Man Black Cologne. This is, uh, although the bottle is black, this is a white type of fragrance. It's very bright, it's very joyful, it's very summery if you want. Therefore, it's also best suited for office environment. Bulgari Man Black Cologne. I highly recommend it. Next one up, again from the House of Banana Republic, from the same uh, icon collection, but this time around, Neroli Woods. Very simple. It's all about the Neroli. A very clean, soapy Neroli this time around. That works miracles. Therefore, it's also very cheap, very affordable. You're gonna pay about uh, almost 20 euros for a 75 ml bottle. So, very good fragrance from Banana Republic. Next one up from the house of Burberry, Mr. Burberry. This is a fragrance that I highly recommend for office environments. It's very clean, it's aromatic, it doesn't project a lot, but it has good longevity, good sillage and it manages to attract compliments. Therefore, if you want something manlier, if you want something that's, uh, let's say, not uh, too woody, too fruity, you want something a bit more on the barbershop type of fragrances, then Mr. Burberry is the one for you. Next one up, again from the house of Burberry, this time around is Burberry Brit Splash. Citruses, melon, and this is pretty much everything that you need to know about this fragrance. It's uh, good in terms of performance. Projection is moderate, so it's really good for office environments. Very good also for summer days because it's very refreshing. It's very brightful. Therefore, it gets a place on this list. Next one up comes from the house of Masaki Matsushima, and this one is Bois Dinoki. If you love figs, again, you're gonna love this fragrance. This one shares quite a lot of similarities with Diptyque Philosikos, mainly because it interprets the same fig note like in Philosikos, mainly the uh, fig wood accord which is very dry, very airy, very, I don't know, dusty is the best uh, description for the fig note found inside Boadinoki or Diptych Philosikos. Therefore, if you love this kind of figs, you're gonna definitely love Boadinoki from Masaki Matsushima. Next one up on this list comes from the house of D-squared, and this is from uh, their new releases, D-squared Green Wood. Very beautiful green fragrance, very fresh, and it also smells like uh, freshly cut grass. Therefore, if you love this type of fragrances, if you love green fragrances, you're gonna definitely love green wood from the house of D squared. Very good for office environments. Let's go to the next one, and the next one is the crazy fig from Caron. Such an underrated house, such underrated compositions. Man, this is simply amazing, especially in summertime. Yuzu Men from the house of Caron. Exceptional blending between Yuzu and Fig. Very, very fruity, very creamy Fig. 
combined with citruses, combined with yuzu. It's an amazing scent. It performs really great, very clean, very elegant, very refreshing. It's an amazing scent. And it also is quite affordable, if you can still find it on the market. I highly recommend it. Yuzu Man from the house of Caron. Next one up, a very cheap fragrance. Very, very cheap fragrance. But it uh, performs miracles. This is Jovan White Mask. A uh, full bottle like this costs about, uh, I don't know, 7, 8 euros. But it works miracles. If you love musk and if you love white florals, you're gonna definitely love Jovan White Musk. Incredible performance, although this is only an eau de colon. Amazing performance, longevity, even projection is quite strong, so be very careful if you wear it in an office environment, how many sprays you apply. And really, really great CR for a dirt cheap fragrance. Jovan White Mask. You need to have this one. Next one up comes from the house of D Squared again. And this is one of my favorite fragrances all time. It was and basically still is, if you want my uh, signature scent for uh, 14 years. He would. In this case, He Would Intense. I also have uh, the original or the classic He Would. They smell identical. This one has a bit more power, if you want, a bit more muscles. But they are absolutely amazing. If you love violet-based fragrances, you're gonna love He Would from D Squared. Airy, fresh, floral, woody fragrance. It simply smells great. And on my skin, this one is a monster. Therefore, because I've worn this fragrance for 14 years and I'm going to keep wearing it as long as I have it in my collection, this one needs to be on this list. Really great for office environment. Let's move to the house of Manchera and let's start with the first one, of course, Cedrat Bois. Everybody knows Cedrat Bois. Everybody continues to compare it with uh, Aventus, which, in my honest and humble opinion, is a big mistake. Yes, it has some similarities, it shares some similarities with uh, Aventus, but uh, to be honest with you, that's it. Nothing more. It's a fragrance of its own, it smells simply amazing. The black cure note inside this one, the fruity accords, are simply amazing. This is the fragrance that attracts the most unsolicited compliments for me every single time that I wear it. It's, it's an attention grabber. Very manly, very beautiful, very elegant, very uh, relaxing at the same time and very, very brightful. I simply love this fragrance. Therefore, for me, it works in an office environment. Highly recommended. And by the way, I have one of the newer uh, bottles, newer batches, so I have no issues with performance and uh, whatnot. Next one up, still from the house of Manchera. This one is called Wild Fruits. And this one is simply amazing, but also intriguing, because in the opening of this fragrance, I get some really huge similarities with two other fragrances. First is, uh, the first one is Creed Milasim Imperial. And the other one is the best clone, and actually the better out of uh, these two, Armaf Milestone. Because in my honest opinion, Armaf Milestone is much more better than Creed Milasim Imperial. I've seen a lot of people comparing this to uh, another uh, Creed fragrance, Silver Mountain Water. Honestly, I don't know where uh, they get uh, their similarities. As I said, for me, this one, in the opening, shares the same backbone, if you want, with Milesim Imperial and Armaf Milestone. Afterwards, it is a different story. It uh, becomes something else, a thing of its own. It has a very beautiful, fruity accord inside, but also it has a very beautiful pitch note, which uh, simply takes control, at least on my skin, 
and uh, therefore it changes the whole composition. Performance is also really good, at least in my case, with wild fruits. Therefore, this is really good actually for office environment because it's refreshing, it smells really pleasing, and if you want, it smells like a fruity salad. And who doesn't like a fruit salad? Next one up from the house of Manchera is Kumkat Wood. This is a fragrance that I said in its uh, review shares a lot of similarities, almost 100%, with a fragrance from the house of Lalik called Lalik White. What I said, and I still say the same thing, is that this one is the better version out of uh, the two. So Kumkat Wood from Anchera is if you want Lalik White on steroids. Or perhaps what uh, Lalik White should have been from the beginning. I loved that fragrance, I loved how it smelled, but unfortunately the performance wasn't the greatest and especially the projection was pretty darn bad. Therefore Kumkat Wood fixes, if you want, all the issues that Lalik White had on my skin. Amazing creation, uh, citrus with woods, simply amazing, peppery, aromatic, really manly, and uh, I find it very, very pleasing, especially in uh, warmer days. Therefore, I do recommend it even for office environments, though uh, be very careful how much you apply when wearing this one. It may be too much and become overpowering if you apply too many sprays. And the last one out of this list, hopefully I haven't forgotten any, comes from the house of Alexandre J. And this is the amazing interpretation that they provided for Vetiver. It's called the Majestic Vetiver. It's part of the Art Deco Collector lineup that was launched in uh, 2020. And this is one of the most impressive, this is the nicest, this is the most beautiful vetiver I ever smelled. And I did smell a lot throughout the years. This simply has something that um, reinterprets the whole note. It's very brightful, it's very um, energizing, it's very beautiful. It's like a smiling vetiver, if you want and combined with an amazing cardamom note. This is very elegant. It's very, very beautiful blended with high quality materials and it performs really great. It gets a lot of compliments and I do see this one being worn in an office environment. I do see this one actually being worn throughout the year in different uh, scenarios and occasions because it's very versatile and very flexible, just like every other single fragrance that I've talked about in this video. But uh, the Majestic Vetiver is such an amazing composition. If you love Vetiver and you want to try out something uh, completely different from everything that you sniffed, I highly recommend it. It's gorgeous. The only word that could describe this fragrance is gorgeous. So this is my list of fragrances uh, for the office or for office. Fragrances that I have in my collection, fragrances that I've worn throughout the years, fragrances that I know that work, fragrances that I highly recommend, not only for office, but uh, basically for different scenarios. These are actually good fragrances to be worn in uh, the warmer seasons, spring, summer and fall, the beginning of fall. These are uh, fragrances that attract, attract compliments. These are fragrances that uh, have good performance, at least on my skin. Some of them are cheaper, some of them are affordable, and some of them are a bit uh, on the expensive side. But uh, nonetheless, I tried to cover, uh, let's say, the whole spectrum of consumers. Therefore, these are my recommendations. Do try them out if you didn't already. As always, thank you for your time, thank you for your attention, I'm going to see you in the next one, be good, be safe, peace.